नो ब्लू पर है ओके ओके सो फाइनली हम पहुंच गए हैं यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लग्जमबर्ग और ये जो सेंटर है वो है <laughs> Hello my beautiful people welcome back to the escape plans i hope you all are doing great and watching our youtube vlogs and finding it informative so we are back again and this time we are covering one of the important information about the student jobs in luxembourg so so many of you were requesting to bring sahil back to one of our vlog so here he is thank you sahil for joining us again no worries thank you for having me back so right now we are at the uh, campus and this is this is the belval campus of uh, university of luxembourg and it's the main campus uh, for the university okay so those those of you who don't know sahil is studying masters here in university of luxembourg and is also working as a student in luxembourg right yes that is correct okay so we are going to cover so much information for you and also i just wanted to highlight that we will be covering few of your questions which you have sent us or posted us on our videos so stay tuned we are going to give you a lot of information let's go Okay so we have walked from there from that stop till here which was like 10 to 12 minutes we had to walk right but actually direct from Remrish from Remrish and actually you can also get direct bus till this stop which is just in front of the university Sahil, so uh, we don't see you know many people here. Why is it? That is because today is Sunday and there are no classes. This is the building for uh, humanities, mm -hmm. and uh, it also has the university restaurant. As you can see, it's the food lab here. Okay. and uh, on the other side of the road it's maison du nombre which is the house of numbers by the name okay and uh, as the name suggests it will have classes for uh, mathematics and all the related subjects okay and the main building here the tallest one is for uh, all the programs everyone has classes there so the university looks really good and really big but we do not have you know uh, much time to capture everything so for sure we will visit this campus again and we will take a tour to all the buildings right definitely yes we'll do that very soon so stay tuned okay so let's start with our first question so luxembourg's labor law is quite good in fact recently due to inflation government has asked uh the employer to increase the salary of the uh, skilled worker non skilled worker uh by 2.5% so uh how does it works for a student and how much is the minimum salary for a student here in luxembourg the salary for a student should correspond to the salary of uh, to the minimum salary of a non skilled worker Okay. which has been increased to 2500 euros per right. month right uh so the point that we need to note is that it is the minimum salary of a non skilled worker the maximum salary can be anything so the minimum salary should correspond to a student's wage okay and if we consider that a non skilled worker is working full time that is 160 hours per month right he is getting uh 2500 euros right but a student is allowed to work only for 15 hours per week okay okay he is not allowed to work full time obviously so 
he uh, gets a salary that corresponds to the salary of a min uh, minimum salary of a non skilled worker okay if we try to convert into per hour wage a student would get around 15 16 euros and for a university's job they pay around 15 16 which is the highest for a student if you try to find work outside it will be around maybe around 13 or 14 euros so a job in the university always pays more so uh, sahil currently we are discussing about uh, working during the study when you are allowed to work for few hours like now what about the vacation when you have vacation here for two months or three months or during that time how does it works are you allowed to work for only few hours during the vacation also or you can work as a full time employee so working during the vacations is uh, determined by the age uh if a student is below 27 years of age then he can work full time during the vacations and the vacations are determined determined by the academic calendar uh, otherwise if a student is working during the semester then he can work only uh, for 15 hours per week as is written on the residence permit so for full time how much will be the minimum salary for a student so again as the student's wage corresponds to the minimum salary of a non skilled worker if a student works full time and uh, here the student should be below 27 okay uh, if he works full time he would get around 2500 euros per month but again the vacations are only for 2 months uh, in a year so only for 2 months it will be 2500 otherwise it will fall under the same criteria of the fixed term contract which is 15 hours per week okay but there is a uh, age criteria right yes, you right. have to be under 27 to work for a full time during the vacation right and for people above 27 it will be the normal contract which is 15 hours per week okay. another important point that i would like to uh, add is that uh, there are some jobs in the university that would be for 10 hours in a week okay as i mentioned before a student is allowed only 15 hours per week right. as per the residence permit Uh, so some jobs will be for 10 hours and some are for 15 as well uh, but obviously the wages will depend on the number of hours that you are working in a week so my next question to you is uh, what are the job opportunities for a student here and uh, is it difficult to get job or uh, i i don't know i just want to understand how it works for a student because everyone is little anxious to know and they think since there is lots of criteria so sometimes people find it difficult sometimes it could be e easy so, so what you, do you have to say on this i think it's fairly easy to get a job especially in the university uh, you can just send your resumes to your professors and they will help you get a job uh, there are a lot of people who are doing phd's here and they need some research assistance so oh. and people and teachers keep frequently posting job on the university websites coming to your next question the opportunities in the university are more compared to what we have outside uh, the students if they are working outside are usually working in uh, restaurants or uh, stores and i personally feel that there will be a language barrier obviously if you are working with uh, the locals here outside people can still find part time uh, it jobs but uh, it's very difficult because uh, a lot of companies don't want part time workers they will give you an internship which will be in summer and uh, getting a part time job outside is difficult and as i said uh, the teachers and professors keep posting jobs in the university website so it's fairly easy to get one here okay so just to summarize everything job opportunities are there right you can easily find a job and the options we have one you can work with the university with Got the it. professors and second you can uh, find job outside now just adding to that i also want to talk about the language uh, barrier so since i can tell my personal experience whenever i go to any uh, store for example sephora or h&m or wherever you go yes. uh, even sometimes when i try to speak with them in english they don't know so uh, is it easy to work as a student to those uh, shops so in the university jobs it uh, there is a language barrier and they will completely mention that if uh, they need someone with a local language it will be clearly mentioned in the job description okay 
and uh, still it's easier to find english jobs in the university and outside it will be pretty difficult if you have french or german or any local language uh, if you know that then it would be an added uh, advantage definitely okay so if you know english uh, you do get a job as a student as well but language barrier is definitely there especially when you want to work in some shop burger king h&m sephora anywhere not only that even here in the university sometimes the professors you might be working with will also uh, want you to know some different language it could be french german anything right exactly so language barrier is there okay my next question first of all many congratulations because you are you are Thank going you to so work much. as a student you have the offer letter already now uh, my question to you is how did you find a job in university of luxembourg was it difficult and how you are going to manage it so as i mentioned before i kept uh, searching on the university website and uh, i found a job that i i was interested in it was related to it which is uh, my field so i applied for that and about a week later i got an email from them asking me to come and meet them for an interview and i had the interview which was uh, which was decent they didn't really ask me to you know quote something like a full time job does uh, but they only asked me a bit about my resume some projects that i did before how i did it and why i was interested in the job that i applied to uh it was uh, pretty easy and uh, after about two weeks i got a confirmation from them that i have i had been selected so yes it, uh, university jobs are not like the jobs uh, full time jobs that we have outside in the uh, it field but it is pretty easy for a student to get a job and i think they do understand that you have to manage your study along with working with them yes. so i think that is something which i feel cherry on the cake you have um and how you are thinking you will be managing everything along with your study so a good thing about a university job is that they also give more preference to your studies if you feel that you have a busy week uh, when it comes to your classes then you can just talk to them and they will Uh, schedule your uh, week uh, okay. accordingly yeah. but that would not ha- happen outside, outside because yeah. you need to work for 15 hours uh, or whatever hours uh, that you are allowed to uh, but yes it depends on the student as well for me i had a very busy first semester i had classes from 8 in the morning till 5 in the evening so i didn't really have much time to work but now it's uh, comparatively uh, easier for me so i did apply for a job and uh, i will have to manage my time obviously but still there is an option to directly contact the employer or whoever you are working under and they will schedule your working hours according to your timetable okay as i know that you just mentioned that last year you were not able to work due to your study you could not find time to work as a student so is it always like that you have that pressure or now you feel it is little like easier for you because you think that you can manage work with your study yes it depends uh, from semester to semester uh, we have mandatory courses and optional courses so last time i had eight subjects and uh, this time i have only six so i have more time and uh, even during the week i have some days uh, off uh, and that is why i think i can uh, find some time to work okay so addition to that i also wanted to ask so as we know luxembourg doesn't work on weekends so yes. for a student also you don't have to work during the weekend right yes we don't have to work okay 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 so my next question is how many students get the job in university of luxembourg or maybe outside of the university of luxembourg so can we put it in a percentage let's say if 100 people are there 100 to students are there how many can actually get work and get placed to university or outside anywhere so it i think is a good news for international students especially that they can uh, easily find job in the university and whoever i know is working in the university so that uh, i don't think anyone is left without a job i 
if, if we need a percentage then maybe 90 95 percent students get a job a uh, in the university uh, but it depends uh, the, the number of rejections you get before you finally get a job depends on the technicality of the job uh, some jobs require more uh, technical level of a student so obviously if uh, there there are some students who are not that uh, knowledgeable then they would face rejections but still there are jobs available for everyone and, uh, and they I, get it, yes hello. i don't know anyone that has not received a job wow so that that is a very good percentage almost 90 to 95 percent people uh, students do get job as a student here uh, but of course as sahil as sahil told that you might get rejected once or twice but you just have to keep trying and yes. you will definitely get a job as a student here as well so the weather is quite cold today i can exactly remember landing here in luxembourg it was first day i came out of the airport it was windy freezing exactly same how it it is today the weather is very unpredictable yesterday it was so sunny and so nice and today it's foggy and cloudy and, and entire week it is showing that it is going to be snowy and uh, rainy yes uh, i feel it's it, uh, it rains here more than it snows and the weather usually is very very gloomy cool. and uh, rainy and now where are we going we are cold and we want to get something to eat <laughs> so do we have like outlets here apart from the uh, university's canteen yeah we do we have a big uh, mall which is called the belval plaza mm -hmm. there are a lot of uh, places to eat there and apart from that we have uh, dominos and subway oh so we have many options to eat we are hungry we are cold we are going to eat and then we will cover the rest of the information for you to milte hain lunch ke baad What is this? Like, ये कुछ chemical, chemistry. What is it related to? Why is it here in university? So this whole area used to be a big steel uh, a factory, and it it was an industrial area which they converted to a university. Uh, that is why the main building that we saw has a steel architecture to remind us of the steel industry and the past that it had. Okay. 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 So that is why this structure is here in University of Luxembourg. <laughs> okay, so we are done with our lunch. Now let's move to the next question. So Sahil, my next question to you is. uh the money you make out of it like by doing uh the part time job as a student here is it enough to survive or to do you get uh, that much money you can pay for your semester fee so the money that we earn from a part time job is around 800 or 900 euros per month okay and uh, as we know being in a public university comes with its own advantages that uh, the university is quite cheap mm -hmm. we have only 200 euros per semester uh, that we need to pay and apart from that the only expenses that you incur are uh, your rent and uh, other living expenses so definitely we don't have rents above 500 euros uh, we can uh, as i explained in the last video right uh, but still i think it's uh, definitely easy to uh, get all your expenses sorted with what whatever money that you earn per month and also if you have a scholarship then um, it's uh, very easy okay so those of you who have not watched the previous uh, vlog where sahil had explained everything about the master course along with it the visa the fees everything we had shared in that vlog go and watch it now the link is right here okay So thank you Sahil for meeting uh, us again and with help of you we are going to help many student out there uh, who think you know how they are going to survive once they land here and getting a job as a student always helps 
सो थैंक यू फॉर कंसिडरिंग माई रिक्वेस्ट एंड थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग बैक टू अर्स यू आर वेलकम आई एम ऑलवेज हैप्पी टू हेल्प एंड थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी अगेन ऑन द ब्लॉग Thank you. So with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. You got all the information you were looking for. We will see you in our next vlog. Thank you for watching. Namaste. And if you are thinking about the FAQ, we are covering that also. But video thodi zada lambi ho jayegi. So go and watch the part two, where we are covering all the frequently asked questions by the student. and sahil will be answering the, those questions